Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to loop content. That's right guys, if you're working on a something and you want it to be playing in a loop, I'm going to show you how to do it. And let me do, to prove to you that I know how to do it, here I'm going to do it. So I've got some standard footage here. You'll see here I hit the play button and bingo. It goes right to the end here of the in and the out and it loops and it starts over and it keeps doing the same thing. Groundhog Day comes to Premiere Pro. I'm going to delete this. We're going to start from scratch and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so the first step here, just drag and drop some footage into your project panel. There's the word. Come on, Curtis, you got some words. Excellent. The second step is you want to go ahead now and pick the section that you want to uh, loop. So I'm going to loop this middle section, let's say, when this person walks in. So somewhere around there. Uh, first off, I'm going to go ahead and hit mute track. So I just don't want to hear the, the audio. Now, there's three steps. The first step, select your end point. You want to mark it with the end. You can either click on this or you can press I and that will do it. That is your end point. I'm going to move this forward and I'm going to go until the person is, I don't know, somewhere in the screen. Yeah, somewhere like that. Okay, whatever. Let's go with that. Second step, as you can imagine, is to mark your out point. Once you've done that, you've got a section of footage that is marked. And that you can do that with the I button and the O. So I O, pick the part that you want to loop. The next part is not as intuitive. You actually have to go to this toolbar here, aka the button editor, left click on it, and then you're going to see over into the button editor, you're going to see something called loop playback. Now, if you look at my toolbar, I've already got it in there. So it's kind of too late. So this is what it would look like. I just took it out. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. Drag and drop loop playback into this toolbar. And boom, you just have to hold down the left, uh, you just left button and bring it in. Now, the last step is making sure that your playhead is in between the in and the out of the section you want to loop. Go ahead and just head up here and hit the play button and watch. That is a total letdown. Wow, did I just make a mess of that or what? Let's try that again, Curtis. But this time, I'm going to press loop playback, and it's going to be blue. Wow, wow, good thing I'm a teacher. Holy snap. All right, let's try it again, guys. This time I know what I'm talking about, hopefully. Hit that, and this time with the button depressed, loop playback down, it works, guys. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm one for two here, okay? That's all there is for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.